Well, hey there, thanks for stopping by. And if you're new to my community, welcome. My name's Robbie Greer from Rusticated Art. Now this lovely couple here is Hemi and Nicole. And what they've done is they've commissioned me to draw this scene that they have actually on a big awning on their caravan. And it's a beautiful scene. But what they want me to do is to draw it in grayscale. So I'm going to convert it from this to a grayscale like this. And then I'm going to ink it. And then I'm going to transfer the image onto wood. And I'd love you to join me on my an artistic journey or artistic adventure. So what do you reckon? Come on then. Alright. So I printed out the reference photo with the grids on it. They're four centimeters by four centimeters. This the last one's about three centimeters, that's so not quite not quite four centimeters, but I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out here. Now the three things that they wanted that you know included in the piece was this post here, the windmill, and the beautiful old FJ Holden. Okay, now, so I've, I've drawn out the grid. Now what you do is I'm doing it to an A3 scale. That's a, this is a, A4, this is A3, what I'm gonna be drawing it on. So, the main thing to remember is that to get the, to get the same amount of squares, that's what we're trying to do. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which I will write on here. So we don't get um, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and we'll call that four, even though it's not, to get lost. I've actually made this one the same size, four centimeters, uh, five centimeters. I think these ones are five, yeah. So that's the difference. That's a four, four, and these are five. Now, as always, I like to start and go around the outside. So, putting down my bit of paper, and as we can see, it's about halfway. The post would be about halfway. And, and what we've got... It was about here I thought we'd go into time lapse. Now I'm just doing the, the outline of the post and all we're doing is just following, using the grid, just put little markers, you know how I like to put little markers in and so I know where I'm going to from, you know, between each, between each grid or each square of the grid. Remember this is just the beginning, it's just the underdrawing. So I do use my set square or my triangle because we can actually make um, we can break these the, the, the each individual um, square we can actually break it down into smaller squares because this the part I'm doing now is probably the trickiest part of the whole the whole drawing which is just getting the headlights right and the the um, front bumper and because there's a lot of chrome on these old girls Getting the headlights. There's always a lot of rubbing out and putting it down and rub a bit more out and put it down. You're just slowly doing it just so we get it right, you know. I sort of look at drawings as there's like three stages to a drawing. There's, there's the beginning, um, and you've got the middle, and then the finishing, you know. But by three stages, I mean you can just about divide it up into three equal areas because it takes just as long to do the layout and get everything in place as it does to do all the shading and then to do all the detail. So you just got to understand it, it's a process. I'm trying to see a bit clearer on the, the, the actual grill using, the, using my um, <laughs> mm. magnifying glass using my magnifying glass I do use it from time to time but it does help to see the smaller details because there's only so much you can see 
from a reference photo and they're not always you know you, know, you can't you never ever ever see all the detail I find anyway just going around doing the, the cabin of the the old FJ just following along on the lines just take our time So now this is the actual outside of the frame of the body. And inside that's got to be a door and there's a window. And because of the angle of the of, of the actual photo, the image, we don't, we just see a little bit of the other side of the window, the the, um, the front window, the windscreen. Because back then they had them in two parts, didn't they? Just trying to get the proportions right. Putting that line through, that crease that goes right through the, the side of the vehicle. Just putting in a little bit. Um, the door going in now. on them beautiful I'm just doing putting in the wheel there that front wheel now trying to get it because you got to remember the angle that the, the, the image is on the truck is on it's not like it's straight on or side on it's more elliptical, the actual, the, the, the wheel. So I'm only really just putting in the, the outline. Trying, just trying to get it right so it's, it's all looking right. And we'll make the changes as we get into, the more, of the, into more of the detail. And of course, that's all that's just all black you can't see nothing there at all so I'm using an, uh, it's actually a 6B really dark graphite pencil a wood pencil here just to fill that in remember this is going to be inked so we don't have to get well. We do. We've got to get the detail, but we are. We're going to be going over it again. So I'm not too concerned about getting the darks too dark or exactly right. And that's the wheel from the other side. All that's just like a blob of darkness. Very little detail in that. Now the windmill up the framework I'm just trying to get the angles right and I'm going to try and get well I'm going to put the whole see the, the top bits missing out on the windmill I want to try and get the whole lot in so I've just lowered the the framework of the windmill just brought it down lower so we can try and get it all in little platform there Ladders, or a ladder that obviously for climbing up there, but it needs, needs adjusting or fixing. A little bit hard to see, but it's it's just because of the fact that it's um, 
thought it was just the line, the line drawing really. Going to be going over all that again. Now, drawing windmills can be really tricky. I've done, I've done a few of them, and there's not they're not just a circle. You know, they're on different angles and. As I say, and once again, all I'm doing, I'm just putting in the line drawing. We'll come back to all that. Mainly just to see, uh, so I know where everything's going to fit, where everything's going to go. Don't in the, the the outline of the trees in the back. Okay, well I thought I'd start with the the trees in the in the background, and, I, and because I'm left-handed, I'm going from right to left, and really all I'm trying to do is just block it, block them in, you know, blocking that space. So when we come back to do some detail on, everything is going to be in the right place. Really, all I'm doing is using little circular motions. And once again, I know I keep saying it, but just take your time. We're not in a race. Well, it looks like I'm going fast because of the time lapse, but that's just to make it so it's easier for you guys to be able to view it. You can stop it and slow it down and pause it wherever you want to. I'm trying to get as much information in as, as I possibly can you know, in the shortest possible time just to make it easier to follow along. Now I do have other videos on how to draw trees and and if you really want to uh, have a look at, um, I've, I've got a playlist there that's got all my beginner, absolute beginner's guide to drawing. And it might be worthwhile checking it out. You might like to have a look at it, get, some, get a few ideas, especially if you're new to drawing. I'll leave a link in the description. I mean, it, it, we cover um, just drawing using basic shapes and how to do fences and drawing grass, rocks, clouds, all the basic things that you need to learn. Now once again, this is, this is just what they call blocking in. Now on the, on the reference photo, where I'm drawing now is like there's a little um, an embankment. I'm just putting that in now so I know whereabouts it's going to go. These are like sort of markers to where I'm going to be drawing, where the drawing is actually going. I've changed to a wood, um, a 2B wood pencil here. It's just a little bit smoother because I've got it right on its side. I can cover more ground quicker than, than using a mechanical pencil. Really, this is all just a matter of just practicing, having some patience and, and the perseverance. But it's worth it. The satisfaction you get at the end is, well, to me, it's just mind blowing. I never get bored. I'm just putting there, and now I'm just putting in the foliage that you can see through the rear window. markings on the post. The post is in the foreground, which is one of the main, well, essential parts of the of the commission that they want to have done was, was that post, because it does stand out. So we've just about got the line drawing down. Now I'm just about ready to, well, we just put, some, put a bit of grass, I'm just doing that post, but I think 
we've done the we've done the under drawing, the line drawing. So I think I think we might just leave it here for now. I'm just putting in a few clouds, using a bit of artistic license. Yeah, that'll do us for today. There you are. Well, I'm glad you made it to the end. Now this is just part one. Now the next stage we're, uh, that we'll be doing will be obviously part two, um, but it'll be about uh, bringing it forward a bit more. See, what we've got at the moment is the underdrawing. It's just the line drawing, and we've blocked in parts like the foliage and and the sky and that. So we've got the outline of everything in. We've got the truck, the FJ Holden, the Ute. We've got the fence post, the big strainer, and we've got the uh, the windmill. This is, this is what the client, they were the main three elements. So long as they were in there, I had free range on everything else. I was able to use artistic license. So anyway, be sure to watch to part two, and then we're going to be starting on more detail, getting into the inking process. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Now if you'd like to learn more, I've left a link in the description. And that's for absolute beginners. Anyone that wants to wants to have a go at drawing from the from the beginning, I try to cover most things. How to draw grass, how to draw fence posts, sky, rocks, trees. Just about everything you want to learn. There's little scenes in there to draw, and it's just by using the basic of shapes. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.